Well, at H and T, are um, we're known as a medical agency. There's um, we've got 60 staff at the moment. We've got three offices. Our head office is uh, in Sydney, and that's where most of the people reside. But also. We've got a, a shop in Melbourne and a, a fairly big um, operation in um, New Zealand as well, in Auckland. When we got the brief, I think it was um, a mixture of excitement and fear. You always you think, oh, this is a really great brief, but on the same token, it's, you've still got to deliver in quite a quick time frame, obviously. When we got the call, we was actually out on an on a agency function for the afternoon, so we were uh, down the pub for most of the afternoon chatting about it. Quite early in the piece, we thought um, there might be an opportunity to approach Barry O'Farrell and seeing as uh, the, the pitch was from the New South Wales government, we thought that was a, a good idea to try and approach him. But while we were thinking of the ideas, the, the carbon tax issue was, was big in the media and the environment was all around us and for some reason we, we sort of were looking past that first of all then it suddenly hit us well. I mean, it's very, very topical and it's still going to you know, be topical for, for years to come, certainly while um, the show goes out. So we thought if we can, we, if we can do something around that, that would be a, a bit of a winner. I had a thought of um, approaching Barry early on. It's a bit of a funny story because he actually goes to my gym in the morning, so I see him sort of from a distance about two or three times a week. Instead of going through the proper channels, I thought if we do that, we, well, A, it's slow and we might get knocked back. So. I sort of thought, well, maybe I should just um, ask, it the, ask him at the gym. That's sort of what I did. So early one morning, at sort of 5.30, I saw him running on, on the treadmill. And I sort of strategically positioned myself next to him, running next to him. And I sort of said, uh, hi, Barry, it's Matt. Do you ever watch the Gruen transfer? And he said, oh, actually, yeah, I'm a big fan. I, I know Will well. It's a, it's a good show. I said, well, we've just been given a brief to go on the first episode. How do you fancy um, helping us out on it? I have to be honest, I thought, you know, the chances are he'd, he'd probably knock us back, but straight away he was interested. So we madly wrote some scripts and we had this sort of, by that time we got this environmental thing in our head, so we wrote two or three scripts around, around that and I sort of put it in front of his, his face at the end of the week and um, he was great, he sort of read through and there was, no, there was nothing there. He didn't seem prepared to say, he was prepared to have a bit of fun with us, so um, it was good. And by by the next Wednesday we'd shot it, we'd, we actually shot in Parliament House, he invited us down there, so we sort of set up and we was there for an hour with him and, and he was perfect. I mean, he's so used to being in front of the camera anyway, so, so it, was, uh, it worked out just fine.